Hi everyone, uh, what we're doing today is a tutorial on how to dilate a pupil for uh, an, it's an effect. Um, you can use it for scenes to do with um, you know, like a, a drug induced scene or you can do a monster transformation scene where the eyes go a different colour or something like that. This is what we're actually going for today. As you can see, it looks pretty convincing. It's a really simple effect on how to, on how to do it as well. So you, you basically will have your eye footage, which is what we have here, put that in the main timeline like so. You want to go up to, and using After Effects by the way, you want to go to um, Layer New Null Object. Select the Null Object and press Enter and call this one Tracking Data. You basically want to select your main footage you need to track this footage because if you actually look at the footage, you see that it's actually moving around. Um, and what will happen is if you have, if you create the, the dilating pupil and the footage is moving around, it'll be in the center, center and you'll, you actually won't look realistic because it won't be matching the footage. It won't be stuck to the footage. So you go over here to your track motion option on the tracker controls. And if you can't find that, you just go window and tick the tracker tab down here and it'll pop up and you can use it. So you select your main footage, in my case it's called I main. You go track motion and we're going to track the rotation as well. Now you want to pick, if you look here, you want to pick um, say the corner of the eye because that doesn't really change much and maybe the Maybe the edge of the eyeball or something like that. I probably would go with the corner of your eye down here. And the whole idea is that you've selected that. Now you go analyze forward down here. Okay, now that's pretty good. If the tracking points move around too much whilst it's tracking, it means it's not in a secure spot. Uh, and that'll make the effect look not quite as good. So you want to make sure that that uh, as you watch it being tracked, that it sort of these squares stick in position. If they move around, go up and down too much outside where you began, then uh, it won't work very well. And you go edit target and make sure it's set to your tracking data, which is your null object. Go OK and select apply and select apply X and Y, apply to X and Y and do OK. And now you'll see down the bottom here that all your data is actually attached, all that movement information is attached to the tracking data null object. So now what you need to do is you select I main um, and do edit duplicate and we're going to call this one press enter, select it and press enter, we're going to call this one pupil. Okay, now select it again and get your masking tool up here and draw a mask around just the pupil. So you just, it doesn't have to be too perfect, you just want it close as you can just around the black area, like so, like that. You want to select the arrow down here and select masks, select masks again and feather, I would make the feather about 10. Okay, you've got the pupil, you've selected the pupil now. So now you want to do right click on the footage and go time freeze frame. Okay, so now that pupil is the same old pupil it was before. It doesn't change, but it's not stuck to the eye as you can tell. Okay, now your pupil, you've done a freeze frame and you have your pupil sitting there like so. As you can see, it doesn't move with your footage like it's supposed to. So now you want to get your Make sure when you go back to the start of your thing that, that it is in position where you want it to be. Then you go pick, pick whip and go pupil tracking data like so. Now it's moving with your footage. As you can see it's stuck to your footage. Which is what you want. Now what you need to do is you need to go down to here and you need to select scale. Now at the start of this you'll leave it 100% and I suggest maybe at the end of it, go scroll to the end, 
hit the st uh, sorry at the start of the footage hit the stopwatch to get a keyframe and then scroll all the way to the end and change that to say 300 percent change that to say 200 percent as you can see that's enlarging but it's not enlarging with your eye so you need to go to the pupil again and hit position stopwatch and at the end at the start of the footage and at the end you want to move that to where you need it at the end of your footage like so now you have a dilating pupil when you play that doing this and there you have it that's how to uh, dilate a pupil in an eye